Hi everybody, this is Shay with The Learning Project. So the student that you all have been going along the journey with me, uh, I've been sharing with you her different test results. Um, I, we ran into a snag, we ran into like a little hiccup. So in the month of December, you know, in December, it's like a shorter month. We have a different, a lot of different activities that we do in December. So I don't go over some of the, some of the content. I don't go over that as much as I normally would. And so the one student that y'all have been following with me, she did not do well on two of her sight word tests. So I'm going to show you those tests now. I have them right here. So the, for the test that she took on in December, on December 15th, she received an S. And an S is like the kindergarten equivalent of a C. So she got a C on that test. Prior to that, on the test, she was getting A's. So, or what we call E's, which are A's. But she did not know three words, which were they, went, and that. Then when I look on the next test that I gave her, which was the following week, which was on December 21st, she ends up getting a U, which is the equivalent of an F. She did not know the word they, should, could, would, and that once again. So yeah, she went from having A's to having a C and then to having an F. So when we got back on Monday, I immediately, you know, started doing some intervention with her just regarding her sight words. Um, the intervention just included her practicing the word, me talking with her one-on-one -on -one about the word, her, her having to write it down, using them in sentences as well, her watching videos, like I just put a headset on her and put her on a laptop with some videos that, and then she had to listen to the videos two times and then write the words three times. And then for the whole class, I also did some refresher with those sight words as well, because I'm not introducing any new sight words this week. We're kind of just doing a review and a refresher. And so that's what I've been doing with her. So I'm going to be doing that with her all week, review, reviewing and refreshing with the entire class, but specifically working with her with the words that she does not know in order for her to be able to successfully pass these tests. And it's not really about the test. It's really just about her having the information and the knowledge so that she will be able to more successfully be able to read. So yeah. We're going to be taking the uh, another test on Friday with the sight words. It's going to be no new words, just the current words that we have already introduced. And I'm going to share with you how she performs on that on Friday. I mean, I had another student who was having trouble with sight words as well in that December month because you know, we just have other things that we're doing. You know, we're making different projects for the holidays. Um, we're having sports day. We're having other events and it's pulling at my instructional time. And so, you know, yes, students have to do their sight words at home, but you know, I really find that when I don't focus on it in class, students don't perform as well, even though they're doing it for homework. So I had another student who normally was getting A's and then she got C's on the last two tests. And so what I did was I was been practicing with her whole group but I do see that she needs a little bit more reinforcement. So I just used my classroom app, texted her mom to let her mom know that I wanted her mom to help her with just three sight words at home. Since we don't have any new sight words this week for homework, her mom said no problem. She would just go over those words with her, um, expose her to them again, have her practice them, use them in a sentence, and write them down like three times, kind of like that. So I'm gonna see how she's gonna perform. And so I just wanted to show you, as you can see, our sight word list has grown. Um, of course, it started off with just one or two or three words, and then every week we add maybe three to five words to the list. But in the black right here, this is these are the current sight words. These are our spelling words, these are review, but these are the sight words that all of our students should know. Could, should, and would are our latest sight words, but all the other sight words they should know. So that is what I'm going to be testing them on on Friday. And again, I'll let you know how my one student performs with her sight word test. And so really, you know, when you come back from like a winter break, like a two week break, really the main thing to that we do the main thing that I know that we do in kindergarten is we do like a lot of review. Just go over a lot of the letters and sounds, go over 
like syllables, you know, go over rhyme. We just review a lot of the material just to ensure that students still remember it, that they are still proficient in it before we move on. So like this week, which is the first week back from winter break, is a lot of review. And then next week, we're gonna pick up with um, extending learning and introducing new skills and new concepts. I just wanted to share with you the results of the test that I just gave her actually on today. Altogether, as you can see, there are 53 words. There are 53 sight words that we, the students should know from the beginning of school up until now. You all look at this. She only missed the words and, please, and they. Now the words they and that she was having difficulty with that i recognized that she was having a lot of difficulty with not even being able to like start to write the word meaning that she didn't even know like the beginning of starting the word so this week i really had really been working with her one-on-one -on -one. she really had been practicing it i actually had to send a text home through my classroom app to let her mother know to work with her at home these last couple of days in order for her to really try to memorize the word those two words that and they so she still missed they so i'm still going to have her work on they i'm going to have her work on and and please as well but she was able to get that and then she was also able to get could should and would she was also able to get the word went because i do believe i have to look back on her other two tests but i do believe that she missed the word went as well so out of the 53 words she only missed three which gave her an a or an e in kindergarten you know i told you that our grades are e g s m and u and the e is for excellent that's like an a a g is for a good that's b s is for satisfactory that's a c um, the M is for moderate improvement, that's a D, and then the U is for unsatisfactory, and that's an F. So yay, she got an E. So phew, she now, okay, she understands, she's understanding rhyme more and more because I have been working with her with rhyme. She understands and knows how to segment and blend her sounds. I had, or her letters and her sounds. I had another video that I made about the segmenting and blending arm. And by the way, one of my subscribers actually asked me to go into detail about a little bit more detail about the segmenting and blending arm. That subscriber also shared with me that she used that as a technique in her classroom. She's a kindergarten teacher as well, and she said it worked like the first day that she did it. Her students were able to tell her, her students were having an issue, I believe she told me with the middle sounds. And when she implemented that strategy, they were able to make that connection, that middle sound, and to tell her the middle sound. So that's another win, yay. Now this particular student that you all have been following, following with me since the beginning of school, she has mastered her letters and sounds. Her sight words are going strong. Her rhyming is, she's improving. She, her segmenting and blending is going well, but her syllables, she's having difficulty with sounding out words. Well, I'm sorry, like, you know, sounding out her syllables. She's sounding them out and breaking them into sounds, but not saying the whole word and breaking them into syllables. So now I'm working with her with that as well. So, but yay for these results. And I will have her work on and please and they in the classroom with me in order for her to master these three words as we move on. Now, if you see behind me, the next set of words that the students will need to learn are my, eat, meet, down and into and they have the spelling words over here so next up we have what five more words for next week for them to master and to learn so we're moving right along you guys i cannot believe that we are already in almost in the second half of the school year thank you all for joining me on this journey and um, thank you all for subscribing and liking and sharing and commenting as well on these videos so i'm going to keep them coming but yay for her and yeah we're just going to keep going so thank you all for joining in this is shay with the learning project i am so excited i have my printer my student is doing well the class Class as a whole oh let me tell you the class as a whole I have 19 students and out of my 19 students I had one student that um, she failed the test but she's been having a lot of difficulty so that's not unusual but I'm working with her but the other 18 students got A's yay all of them got an A. Class, all of them did got 53 out of 53 words and I had 18 out of 19 students get an A and then one F Okay, 
Alrighty. Thanks for watching. This is Shay with the uh, Learning Project. Again, consider liking, consider subscribing, consider um, sharing, and thank you for your comments as well. And I'll see you next time.